Hey folks, JD here, and today I thought we'd look at four folding quadcopters with four different locking mechanisms. I was asked a question last week which made me think uh, quite a bit actually, <laughs> and that is, well, if you take a slight bump on uh, any folding quadcopter, does that automatically mean that the arms are going to fold in? Or is the, are the arms only going to fold in on certain quadcopters? Uh, what exactly is going to happen, pretty much? So that got me thinking, and I thought I'd go through four totally different locking mechanisms in four totally different quadcopter styles. So what we've got here, if we start off on the left-hand side here, let's look at the blue crab. Now this is JJRC's little fold-in blue crab. Now as you can see, obviously, with it folded like that, it's not going to fly. This is the main body of the quadcopter, and that is the direction that it's meant to be flying in. What you've got at the back here, you've got a lock. Now this lock means that when it's folded in like this, you can only fold the quadcopter arms out so far before you come up against quite a bit of resistance. Unless you push that button in, and then they click into place. Now what this means is if you do bang against a wall, if you do crash in any way, the arms might fold in like that. But it is going to take quite a wallop to do it because you do have quite a little bit of movement in the arms before they will crack down like that. It does mean though that if you do crash, you have got to turn around, have a little look and make sure that everything is clipped in nice and properly. Otherwise, if you've got one propeller arm slightly up and one down, eh, yeah, you're not going to have a good time. So that's just one locking mechanism which is a bit of a nightmare to use, but does serve a purpose because it locks. Now, this is the next one. This is a Skytech Extreme. And now, underneath here, as you'll notice, there are four little silver buttons. One, two, three, four. You can try and pull out these arms as much as you want, and they're not going to come out unless you pull da push down that button, and then they lock. they come out and lock in place. Okay. Now the perfect thing about having a locking mechanism like this is if you do hit something, the arms are not going to fold back in unless you push the button in. So this is a very good way of ensuring if you do have a, a mishap, if you do crash, then it does mean that there's every possibility that this locking mechanism won't be engaged because these arms are very, very strong when this is locked in place. See? And likewise, when you're transporting it, I would much rather transport something which has a button lock rather than something like this. Because you are sure that all of this is locked in place nice and isn't going to come out in your bag and the, and the propeller arms aren't going to damage in transit. Then we come on to something like this. Now we've seen this particular type of drone over the years quite a lot, in so much that it has a similar shape to the Ishin E50, to the Ishin E50, the JJRC Elfie, the first edition, uh, and this one as well. Now I like this quadcopter; I think it's really good. When you turn it over, you see you don't have any locks. You can just pull it straight out. But what you do have, watch this. It will lock into place. It has, it is spring loaded. But what that also means is, if I was to hit this as hard as I just been tapping the uh, Skytech, then it will move in. See, it doesn't lock its arm in any one position, which means when you do come to have, if you do come to have an accident, the arms will click back in. So that is something that you are going to have to be aware of, and just ensure that where before you do take it up, make sure that the arm is fully extended. And then we come on to the smaller of the drone family, again folding, but likewise again, this just has a little click, watch now, see, uh, there's no button locking these, there's nothing. Now the main issue you're going to have with this is if there is any, if you do crash land, then these arms are going to click back in. Uh, also, if there's a strong breeze, I haven't experienced this, and I haven't heard of anybody experiencing it, but there may be a possibility that the arms may come in because they don't require a lot of pressure in order for them to unclip. So you are going to have to ensure that when you do take out any drone, any uh, any quadcopter, with which is a folding quadcopter, you have to make sure the arms are totally folded in. So what can you do if you have a drone like this, or like this, that doesn't have any lock, what doesn't have any locks, what can you ensure 
Uh, what can you do to ensure that the the arms are as uh, are as tight as possible? Well, on something like this, it's quite simple. Just turn this little screw. Not not a lot. You don't want to damage the plastic at all because that's going to weaken it even more. But just turn the screw ever so slightly, just so that you are tightening up these arms and there's less chance of them falling back in on themselves. I've done that with this every single time that I have been flying this, and I've flown this about three times so far. And every single time I've flown it, the I haven't had a problem with the arms at all. So just ensure that you screw up just a little bit, ever so slightly, just to ensure that you are ensuring the plastic is holding the arm as tight as it possibly can and the same would go for this now you may have a bit more difficulty with this one as there's just a lot of plastic and there's no actual screw hole is there anything in there no so what I would say with this as it is a spring-loaded mechanism you should be totally fine unless you do take a ding on the floor in which case land it double check it take it back up it doesn't take two seconds but it does ensure your flight is going to be nice and safe so there we are folks i hope this this helps uh thanks ever so much for watching and listening i've been jd you've been fantastic as always if you haven't already please subscribe hello and welcome to all the new subscribers i hope you're enjoying the channel so until next time my friends happy flying